it's like small moments like that that really puts a smile on my face. Small reunion that we were able to accomplish. I really want to connect, you know, the the two parts of the world together. We're working towards a full album, finger crossed. I mean, Save Me and Nirvana Girl will have a very special place in my heart. I would love to focus on my music and if acting comes naturally, then it happens. And if it happens, I, I am willing to challenge myself. When is Soren coming to India? It was funny because we were actually talking about India just now. Annyeonghaseyo Yorobun and Swadi Kap. My name is Ali and welcome to Pink Villa Halu Talk. Today is a very special day because we will be talking to someone very special, a multi-talented artist who discovered her passion for singing and performing on stage at a very young age, who is also a former member of a K-pop group and we cannot forget her special social media presence. So we will be speaking to the Nirvana girl herself. Please join me in welcoming Soren. Hi Soren. Hi! Thank you for taking out the time and to come and talk to us and talk about your new single. First of all, obviously, congratulations on Nirvana Girl. Thank you. Okay, so how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling great. Uh, the song is out, so I'm really, really excited. And just, you know, I'm in the my uh, celebration phase, I guess. I'm glad. We are so glad. You should be. I mean, after working so hard, you do deserve to celebrate it. Grand. <laughs> So my first question to you is, you know, from Thailand all the way to South Korea has been an incredible journey for you. And we are absolutely in awe of your journey. We'd love to know, you know, when did this interest for, you know, singing and performing start? And did you always know you wanted to become a singer? I, first of all, no, I did not know that I was going to become a singer. But uh, I mean, in my family, my half brother is an actress and also a singer himself. And he was young and my dad also was in the entertainment industry so I'm really used to it, the industry mm -hmm. and I just really like singing a lot so I guess when I saw an opportunity to be on the show which was in 2011 TV and K-pop Star Hunt I thought it would be a really fun and interesting um, experience for me so I decided to uh, compete in the competition and then from there on here I am so, yeah and I really enjoy being on stage and connecting with my audience, my fans. I enjoyed every single moment being with CLC up until now, being a solo artist. So I guess it was destined, I guess, meant to be. Yes. Yeah. For sure. I mean, it was meant to be. And with every stage, you have worked so hard and given, you know, your 100%. And obviously, you are here today and doing amazing as ever. The next question to you is, you know, looking back at your trainee days, I know we all, you know, there's this thing that we say that is it is hard obviously it is very hard yeah. but i'd like to know what is that one memory that is very close to your heart that maybe you know nobody knows but it always brings a smile to your face like looking back at your trainee days i guess it's like really small stuff mm -hmm. uh, when we were trainees there were a lot of things that we weren't allowed to do and i think one of the very a uh, fun moment that I have and I will always have in my head is it's quite silly but um, we weren't allowed to snack or like yeah yeah while training but me and my I remember me and my members which is a CLC uh, way back then we were trainees we would because we were young we we're like you know 16 17 we want to snack right. on stuff we would always just have like forbidden snacks in our bags and <laughs> we would try to avoid the CCTV and try to snack it while we we're training. Each of us visit the bathroom and just like kind of like snacking on like chocolate or like chips and stuff like that. that and so trying to, yeah, trying to make sure that the, uh, our, uh, the company doesn't catch us like eating and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like small moments like that that really puts a smile on my face. That is true. I mean, true, like little joys of life is what we call it. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations on your fourth digital single, Nirvana Girls, which also features Yoon, who is, you know, the former member of your group. Mm -hmm. Now, talk to us about this single. I mean, what was the process like filming with her and what was like, you know, how was it like coming up with this, some fun BTS scenes and stuff like that? Um, well, it was a really fun project for me because, you know, we've been together for the past 10 years and it's just the chemistry that we have on and off set is just still there and it will always be there it's like working with like just being around your best friends where like you don't really have to say much or do much but you just understand each other like that it's just amazing um and i just 
really enjoy the whole process with her. I was able to fly her out here to Singapore to uh, do a, you know, she, she came over here to record the song with us. I flew to Korea to, you know, do the music video with her. And it's just a really nice, uh, small reunion that we were able to accomplish. Yes. So, yeah, I, I I really enjoy every single process and I hope that we'll be able to create more opportunities like that in the future too. Of course, I mean, the song is amazing. And as you said, you know, the chemistry and the bond once there always stays the same. And we're really glad you were, you know, able to have like a smooth process and everything was really good mm-hmm. that way. Now, Nirvana Girls is also, you know, all about learning to become your the most authentic version of yourself. Yeah. And you're not letting anything define you. I have yeah. to say, I absolutely love the concept. And Thank I'd you. like to know, you know, what what inspired this concept? I mean, it's something very unique and something really out there that, you know, young people really need to hear nowadays. So what um, inspired you? So the song, I mean, long story short, uh, the word Nirvana Girl came from when I went to the studio with my producer on the day that we we're making the song. I went to the temple to pray. It's yeah. something that I always do when I was younger too. Um, and my producer thought it would be a really cool concept to bring religion onto the con- onto the song. So right. Nirvana, Nirvana in Buddhist is like the state of enlightenment, and like you understand yourself, you know more about the world, you you're like more accomplished. Um, so I put that concept added onto the story that I have. So I had a sit down talk with my writers. Uh, telling her about you know my whole journey as a k-pop artist coming out from a girl group and now I'm doing my solo stuff and all my struggles and everything that happened to me in the past 10 years we were able to put that onto the verses and then add Nirvana Girl on top of that and so it's like a very personal song so I just wanted that to kind of like inspire people too uh, so yeah it's different type of meaning to everyone and that's that's how we came up with the song. That's all for all the efforts and for every little detail that you have paid attention to. Yes. Now, you know, you have been in this industry for the past 10 years and with an experience like that, what are some genres you would like to explore? And, you know, do we see some collaborations happening soon? And, you know, any other artists that you would like to collaborate with in the future? So right now, there's not really any specific artist I want to collab to, but I am open to any type of collaboration. The, my, my main goal is, you know, now Asian, Asian music is just, it's like the new cool thing and the world is, is opening up again. And um, it's really interesting and really, I'm really happy to see uh, that happening in the music industry. Um, so what I would like to do as an artist is to kind of connect different artists from different parts of the world together. Now you're seeing more collabs between Western music and Asian music. Right. More artists are collabing together. And me coming from, you know, a Thai background, but kind of grew up in the K-pop industry in Korea, coming out from there, trying to reach out to the Western um, yes. music side of things. I really want to connect, you know, the, the two parts of the world together. True, absolutely. And I think we will be looking forward to any of those collaborations that are going to happen very soon. Yeah. And, you know, as you have started a new chapter in your life, as a soloist and you're doing so well for yourself, are there some projects that you are excited to work on? Maybe just a little hint for us. Um, Projects, I mean, for the past half of the year, uh, I've been really excited to work on Nirvana Girl because, you know, I was able to bring Yeun onto the track. So that was our secret project that we've been working on for the past months. Uh, but hopefully now that the world is opening up and you know I'm releasing more music, we're working towards a full album, finger cross. Uh, we're working hard on that. I mean, it's been a very good year for me because you know, uh, it's almost the end of the year and this year I'm able to release four different singles. So that's been a big success. And I'm just trying to work towards a full album. And also hopefully beginning of next year, I really am hoping to meet all of my fans in person. Okay. Uh, you know, not only just like an Asian tour, but just, I mean, hopefully a world tour. Yeah. Uh, where I can meet, everywhere. Yeah, where I should actually meet all my fans and have that, that interaction just see each other face to face and I can like sing to them and talk to them and 
all that. So me and my team were working really, really hard towards that. So hopefully that will start in the beginning of 2023. Wow. I mean, go girl. That's all I can <laughs> say. I mean, this is amazing. And, you know, for if your fans, you know, you're gonna, they're going to hear it and they're going to be so excited. And I think every part of the world, they're going to wait like, oh my God, Soren, it has to come here. And yeah. she has to sing for us and, you know, there's going to be so much and, you know, we wish that all of it comes true for you and you're just able to do everything that is out there. Thank you. I will work hard towards that goal. Yes. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we absolutely love every song that you've put out there, all the four songs that you put. We'd like to know what is one song from those four songs that is special to Soren and why? I mean, Save Me was one of my favorite song lyric-wise because I'm a big uh, lover for ballads and slower songs and I think that the lyrics really just... It's something that a lot of people can connect to where like we're living in a society where it's quite... If you look at it, it can be very toxic at times and I think everyone is going through that phase and like I just wanted my listeners to kind of connect to the song because I just want people to know that you know if you're feeling that certain way you're not alone mm -hmm. I also feel that way and I think Nirvana Girl is something that very is very personal to me so song wise and also visually in the music Absolutely. video it you can see um I actually have like a black wig on and I was trying to uh bring the looks that I had with CLC and trying to make the song like I'm trying to like tease myself in a way so the music video itself is just very personal to me and talk, it talks about my past too. So, I mean, Save Me and Nirvana Girl will have a very special place in my heart. Of course, I mean, they're both very beautiful songs. I mean, all of your songs are very beautiful. But I personally also, as you said, you know, that, you know, people can connect to Save Me a lot. And that is a song that, not kidding, I listen to it every single day because every word and every Thank single you. there is so... It's very easy to connect and you know there's always this form of hope I can say that there's as you said you know not you're not alone when you're feeling stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it's, it's obviously it's a beautiful song. Thank you. <laughs> and obviously Nirvana Girl is going to be my jam now. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> now now comes the question that I personally have been waiting for. Oh, yeah. We have to talk about your special social media presence. I mean the content <laughs> you put out there every day. I have to know, okay, where is this content coming from and how do you ideate? I mean, it's so relatable, so fun, so engaging. Like, how do you do this? I mean, for me, I really enjoy being on social media and I really enjoy creating content. Um, so I guess for me, it comes naturally. And with all the content that I've been putting up, I try my best to be... I mean, I'm, I don't try to be relatable. I think, I mean, it's just... It's just like normal people things. I just, I guess people just don't expect that from me coming from, you know, I have a background as a K-pop idol and people just don't expect us to be doing like normal things. But we're just like, we're humans too, just like everyone else who's, who's watching right now. And um, I don't know, I just get inspired by just normal everyday things that everyone goes through. And I think being uh, my fans, enjoying that and being able to relate to me through my content is just a blessing. Me as an artist, I don't only want to be um, an artist, just like, you know, fans look up to me like, oh, it's so on the artist. You know? right. I want right. people to be like, I love her music. I also love her as a person because I feel like I can connect to her and I feel like she's my friend. I want them to see me as like, I have that friend, you know? I want to be friends with her or like, they feel a certain comfort when they see me and I mean, that's something that I'm really blessed because, you know, just I'm happy to just be that person for them and also kind of like uh, comfort them through my music and also through my content. Right. I mean, for starters, I would love to be your friend. No joke. <laughs> I would really love to be your friend. I mean, you're so fun. And at the same time, you're so hardworking and there's like this bubbly side to you. And obviously, I mean, who wouldn't want to be your friend? Oh, thank so you. I'm going to be first in line for that. Now, since we've spoken about Soren as a performer, as a singer, I have to know, I mean, obviously, this is attached to your social media presence also. Do we see Soren debuting as an actor very soon? I mean, because... <laughs> You act in those reels, it's not really relatable. I mean, you're so good at it. So, 
are we you know speculating a little acting debut you know you're going to make it soon or what? uh a, a lot of people have been asking me about you know if i have any interest in acting uh when i was with clc whenever i get this con- uh question i always like to say that i i'm not interested mm-hmm. uh but i don't know these days i'm more comfortable the reason why i didn't want to do acting is because i don't really i'm not that comfortable yet seeing myself act on screen that that sounds a bit weird cuz you know I'm, my face is no, 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 that's okay yeah and everything but acting for me is so different from singing on stage right. um but now because of tiktok because the reels of shorts of everything social media it makes me feel very more comfortable now i'm gaining more interest in acting now these days uh and i mean hopefully if there's a good opportunity that comes in i would definitely take it uh but for now i would love to focus on my music and if acting comes naturally then it happens and if it happens i i am willing to challenge myself in acting too that's impressive i mean we will be waiting on that i mean obviously along with supporting your singing and your performing and you know being on stage we are going to hold hope to see son on the big screen as well hopefully hopefully <laughs> hopefully hopefully yeah. Now now that we have come towards the end of our interview what is one message that you would like to give your fans I mean the big picture the the big message that I always like to give to my fans in whatever I do is this you know through my own personal journey it's one of my journey to kind of like inspire people to just keep on going it doesn't really matter the time and everything it's just like as long as you work hard and as long as you're like consistent and you're passionate about what you do anything can happen so whatever dreams you have or what whatever you're trying to do in your life right now if you you believe in yourself and you have an end goal for yourself i think anything is possible now yeah. lastly i mean we don't want you to go and we want to like keep talking to you but obviously we have to come to an end so mm-hmm. i cannot let you go without asking you the main question here okay is when is soren coming to india i mean do you plan to visit soon because we cannot wait to meet you i mean your fans here in india absolutely love you and as you said you know having an in person concert is going yeah. to be so when it was funny because we were actually talking about india just now before i got on to um cuz you're we're looking on to like you know how to promote the song and everything and i have been seeing that i'm getting a lot of lots and lots of love from india through my social medias and everything like that so i would love to go to india i've never been to india um i would love to go and meet my indian fans i have never seen an actual like physically met any indian fan before too so i would love to just have a real like sit down and like you know mm-hmm. one to one i'm one Yeah, I know. I mean, I I can see one now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am now. Um, yeah, I would if there's a opportunity, I would love to go to India, travel and then meet my fans, you know. You try some Indian food. Some Indian food. Yes. Take you pictures and explore the country of and get course. to know my fans more, you know, if there's an opportunity, we we will definitely be there. Of course, I mean, we would love. We would do anything to have you come here and show you around oh, no. and so much i mean so we are going to anticipate a tour date in the very soon manifesting it completely totally <laughs> absolutely so we have come to the end of our interview thank you so much soren for taking out the time i know you've been so busy with the promotions but obviously you took out the time to chat with us and to speak about your single and we are very very grateful and i have to say on behalf of your fans here in india and on behalf of the entire pink pillar hali top team we wish you all the very best thank and we we'll thank you all our love and support so thank you everyone for watching this interview and thank you for doing this interview with me thank today thank you so much i uh, would love to visit india if if there's an opportunity and also you know please give me and yelen and also sunyan who's also on uh, in the music video lots and lots of support for navana girl it's a small reunion uh for us and i guess i'm i'm hoping that the fans would love it too um it's a small clc uni- reunion moment uh i wanted to kind of give this to our fans cuz i feel like we didn't really have like a proper uh goodbye to our fans i guess i mean clc is going to always be a thing but i just wanted to visually have of that understanding to you guys again one more time so please give the monogirl lots and lots of love 
And yeah, thank you for having me today. Thank you so much, Soren. Here, sending you all our love and support. Thank you. Right there. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this interview. And if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Pink Villa Halu Talk across all our social media platforms. And let us know in the comments down below which other artists would you like Pink Villa Halu Talk to talk to next. And until then, Jamshiman ke dare jo se ho. Annyeong!